The number of people at home isolating or being treated after contracting the virus is increasing fast. So what should be done to manage the large number of people being treated at home? Kim bo Young turned to leading medical experts for their insights on the matter. Left alone, feeling neglected. These are comments from people who are at home with COVID-19. As the new daily caseload hovers around 100,000, the number of people either isolating or being treated at home after testing positive for COVID-19 is going up accordingly. According to the health authorities on Monday, 469,000 people are at home battling the virus, double the number seen last Monday. Yet the number does not seem like it will go down soon. As the result of domestic and foreign researchers' data on future COVID-19 numbers, new cases are projected to increase to 170,000 a day by early March, and the number of seriously ill patients being treated in hospital will go up to more than 1,000. If the new cases hit more than 170,000 a day, then up to a million people could be at home with the virus. In order to efficiently manage such a large volume of potential patients, experts agree that it is important to let people know the normal course of COVID-19 symptoms to prevent them from overloading the medical hotlines. The top priority is to let people know what Omicron virus is and reassure them not to be too anxious. For this, health authorities need to show the data of Omicron-infected patients and show how it is. Communications and good logistics to mend the phone calls and routing patients in person are also key factors. We need someone on the line who can uh, man uh, these kinds of hotlines 24-7 just in case a patient does have uh, serious symptoms or signs. Then once a patient calls and an assessment is made that uh, they need to be seen, assessed um, in person. There should be good communication with the um, person who's received the call with uh, care centers, urgent care centers, emergency rooms in the region so that the person could be directed to a place where they can get seen uh, immediately. For adults, unrelenting fever, difficulty in breathing or a continuous cough even after taking medication would be red flags signaling that they should seek assistance. Children suffering dehydration shown by symptoms such as dry mouths and lips or a drop in the amount of urine produced should also immediately be seen by a doctor. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.